Uh, welcome again to this wonderful season. We bless God. Uh, it's our prayer that you will, uh, you will touch somebody else. Send a message to somebody else that we are watching. Uh, when, you are, when you get us in Facebook, send that message to somebody that all of us shall be aware of what's happening in our church. We are trusting God that our lockdowns are coming to an end. And we are trusting God that Kenya will come in. I want us to take a moment and pray for, the, for those the victims of uh, the rainfall that has just gone in um, Pokot, Kisumu, uh, uh, Kitale, Kakamega, uh, every corner of this nation. I want us to just lift our prayer for those people that are displaced, whose properties are destroyed, and those who are sick because of the rain. We pray that God preserve our land in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift our prayer this morning and pray for them that are suffering, them that are struggling, them that are, are, are Lord, have been displaced in the various places, those who have lost the loved one, families, uh, the police, and all of us. Oh God, we pray that Lord, forgive us, oh God, for the sin we have committed and as, as human beings, as Kenyans, oh God, that you should, we lift our nation before you, that Lord, preserve our land preserve our people. Lord, we pray that you shall protect, you shall guide, you shall be, Lord, we, we, uh, we give comfort and peace to them that have lost their loved one. We bless them, my Father, wherever they are. We pray that the spirit of peace shall be upon them. My Father, I pray also, Lord, that the, the, the departments are taking relief food to those areas, protect them and guide them and be with them, Lord. I know our roads and our bridges have been, have, have been swept away by water and they have, the, the towns are disconnected. I pray, my Father, that you shall give us resources, commitment, and we bless our government. Again, we pray for the President of the Republic of Kenya that you shall, Lord, instill wisdom. Give him wisdom. Give him men and women who shall support the endeavor to build this nation and not to destroy the nation. We pray that, Lord, the Spirit of God shall be upon him, that you shall guide him, Lord, to lead Kenya to success, to lead Kenya uh, to become a legacy, that, Lord, we shall remember the legacy uh, of our president. Lord, I pray that no, not even a selfish and a few selfish people that are surrounding the government who shall derail the blessings of this land. Lord, bless Kenya. And remember, Lord, the nations of, of the world, which were also suffering, I pray that you shall send your word, your, your presence to those nations and heal those who are sick, those who are in ICU. We pray also, Lord, those who are in ICU, preserve them and protect them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, I, I want us to pray a few prayer points and, and just declare restoration. This is a month of restoration. This is our year of restoration. That uh, From Joel 2, 25 and 26, those are our, 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 our theme or our scriptures for 2020, where we stand and call upon the name of the Lord. I want us just to declare, God, uh, restore back my life in the month of, of May in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, we call restoration in this month of May. We declare restoration in our life in this month, that this is a month of divine restoration. Father, we still stand in that position up to the heat to declare your glory over this nation, over our people, in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare this well. It shall be well with us in Jesus' precious name. Now, our second prayer is, uh, he said, Oh Lord, where others have failed, I shall succeed. Doesn't matter where people are saying, Oh, we cannot make this area, I cannot make in this area. But where others have failed, God, I shall succeed. Why? Success is not my plan. It is the plan of God that we shall succeed. And we must succeed. He controls the successes. He controls the, 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 the environment. God is like a thermostat in the heating. That God thermostat every occasion of life. And therefore, you shall succeed where others have failed. Father, I declare. Where others are failing, we shall succeed. Where others are coming down, we shall not come down. Where others are running away, we shall be in the front line. Father, I pray that grace operate, grace operate, supernatural power operate. Holy, Holy Spirit, we pray that your presence shall uh, move supernaturally to cause a great success. We pray for the farmers, oh God, that the farmers in 2020 shall rise. The farmers, oh Lord, who have lost their crops because of the locusts, they shall have a double harvest, a triple harvest, a hundredfold harvest in the name of Jesus. Lord, where, where others think it is a time of failure, we command success. We command Command your grace. Oh Lord, where others have lost their crop because of water, we call Lord a restoration in Jesus' precious name. Our third prayer, 
uh, is that uh, what causes others to fail uh, I sh it shall be my platform of greatness. What causes others to fail shall be a platform for greatness. That means, he says in the uh, Romans 8, 20, 28, look at Romans 8, 28 and 29. Uh, let's read the scripture. He says in that scripture, uh, and we know in all things God works for good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Therefore, if you are called according to the purpose of God, everything that works bad for others shall work good for you. Everything that works bad for others shall work good for you. He says, for those who are called according to his purpose, if you are called, because all of us are called, but few are chosen, we are called. And therefore, in our calling, God shall cause good for where others have seen bad. And I declare, declare with me, O oh God, what has caused others to fail and where they have failed shall become my platform of greatness. I now declare, may that become your platform of greatness in the season of 2020 in the name of Jesus. That this year you shall not go beneath, you shall go above. You shall reign and not diminish. You shall become greater and, not, and become, not become smaller in the name of Jesus. By the authority of Christ and the word, I pray that you shall become a great man. In Jesus' precious name. And our last prayer. Any power, anywhere, trying to restructure my destiny, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any power, anywhere, trying to restructure my destiny, catch fire. Father, I declare, any power or anywhere trying to restructure our destiny, catch fire. Your time is over. I shall not backtrack. I shall not go down, but I shall progressively move forward. For God is the spirit of dominion come upon my life. Father, I pray, may I dominate the territories and environment. In the name of Jesus, I shall not relent and give the devil a foothold. I declare, we shall move and get success in 2020 in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Thank you. We thank God for, the, for you. Uh, continue praying. Continue declaring that you shall go forward. You shall not go back. People may say we shall go back another uh, five years before we come to where we were. I, I believe when there is a going down, there is a going up. God is in control over everything. Let me tell you, God controls men. We may think in our minds, in our little thinking that the economy is going down. Things will, let me tell you, when God caused Corona to come, because he had, let me tell you, God is not asleep that he cannot change this world. God is watching. He's watching on the world. And why we are in this state, no, nobody knows. And somebody said, God has taken a leaf to restructure the nature. Where we destroyed the ozone layer, where we poisoned the earth, and the earth was full of poison, and, 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 you know, and the snows are falling, God has given the ozone layer a leaf. So the earth is on leaf. Everybody's on leave, and God is repairing. <laughs> I, I thank God. That was just somebody, somebody spoke to me and said, God is repairing the earth. I said, okay. Uh, then we on leave to let God repair the earth and bring in, uh, uh, and, and, you know, the ozone layer and, and, you know, and, and, you know, and make what is need to be made, not to be made before we come back and destroy again. I pray we shall not destroy again. Hallelujah. Anyhow, we thank God for everything and we are ready to move on. I pray that you shall move on and you are geared to go on and be able to make a, a, a platform. This is a platform. Believe you me. I said from the beginning, when Corona came, it has brought change in our life. Our minds are changed. Our perspective is changed. Our thinking is changed. Our imagination has, been, has changed. And even our innovativeness have, been, have changed. That I believe that Kenyans have become more innovative than before. Where we are making our own mask, we depended on importation. We are making ventilators. We are making, you know, they're going on discovering the, the cure for coronavirus. And some of the African nations have succeeded. Let me tell you, we don't need to import things from outside. We need to make things ourselves. I pray that Kenya will be a manufacturing nation. We shall be able to manufacture and send out to, uh, to other nations. We, we've depended too much on importation. This is a time when God gives us um, the minds of innovation, the minds of creativity, like Bezalel in the book of Exodus chapter that one. Uh, verses 1. If you read that story, God is telling Moses everything that you need within yourself. If you can throw that scripture, uh, uh, Exodus, that one, he says, you know, he says, then the Lord said to Moses, look at this scripture, he says, and see, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him 
with the spirit of God. Number one, he has the spirit of God. And then number two, he has skill. And he has the ability, number three. And number four, he has knowledge in all craftsmanship. He has all the knowledge. So he has a skill, he has a, a design, he has every power inside of him. And he said, to make artistic design to work in gold, silver, and bronze, verse 5. He says, verses 5, keep moving, please, verses 5. And to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kind of craftsmanship. That means God can deposit knowledge, skill, design, everything in your life to become a, a business guru, a business a manufacturer. You can make be a manufacturer because when God begins to deposit the wisdom in him, God said, whatever I need to be made is already in, 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 the, in Bezale, Bezarel. I, and he had put others, he has given other people to make garments. Of course, there are others who are making garments, others who are making wood, and others who are making gold, others who are making silver. And, you know, God has deposited everything that is required in you, and you can make it in this hour. These are times of change. I trust that Africa shall arise. This is a moment for Africa. Even if we can make herbs and boil, get leaves and boil, and cure corona, and cure other diseases, I, I, I trust that this is a moment. This is a moment. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it in the name of Jesus. This is a moment that God can use you for discovery. God can use you to, be, uh, you know, to change the world. The world is looking for solution, and you can be a solution. Whether you are in the forest, do something. Where, wherever skill, the little skill that God has put in you, do something. God is looking for those. He has deposited the skill that to bring out in the name of Jesus. Now, this morning, I want to share in a few minutes in a few minutes, uh, on taking dominion. Taking dominion. Now, it is very important for you to know that from, the, from Genesis, God's mind concerning man was that man dominate the earth. Man dominate the earth. That means everything that you, if it is farming, you dominate farming. If it is business, you dominate business. If it is entrepreneurship, you dominate. God, is, is a, it's in the, it is in God in our creation that you take dominion. I want us to begin from uh, Genesis 1, 26. Genesis chapter 1, verses 26. Look at the, at the creation. The, the Bible said, when he designed man, and the reason we are going to Genesis is because that is the original text where God designed man for a purpose. So when the manufacturer is making a product, he specifies categorically what he's making and the function of it, he says. Then God said, let us make man in our image. Number one, we are in the image of God. And in our likeness, and then let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over the livestock and over all the earth and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So the first intent of God was to make a man who looks like him, behave like him, think like him, and he can have dominion. And therefore God gave Adam the power, the domain, the power to rule, to control, and to bring forth that which was meant of God. God never took that out of Adam. Although Adam sinned and fell in the garden, God never took that. The only thing that happens in Adam, that he died from divine spiritual communication with God. That is what died. But the rest of the gifts that were in him, still, because when you look after that, God did not teach Adam to make clothes. He started making skin and making clothes for himself. Adam built houses. God never showed Adam to build houses. That is the technocrat, you know, the skill and the ability that were in Adam that were able to explode. And that is why today, man have skill to do many things. They have gone to the moon. They have gone to Mars. They, have, you know, they are doing exploits. Why? It is inbuilt. It's wired in man. Because man is spirit. And the Bible tells us, man is God. If you have never seen that from John chapter 10, 34. John 10, 34 says, ye are gods. Ye are gods. And therefore, Jesus himself, declared and said, Jesus answered them and said, is it not written in your law? I have said you are gods. Now it's God who said, man is a smaller God. God is a bigger God. And therefore we depend on God who had made us become God. Because believe you me, there is nothing in the universe that has, has power to control the universe than man. Man can control anything. Man can control water. He can control the sea. He can control the mountains. He can control animals. He does everything. Therefore, we have power building us through God. 
that we, have, we must have dominion. So the first important thing that God wired in man is domain. Domain that you can take dominion. And the reason why we fail is because Adam failed. But when we return back to God, God activates our salvation. The salvation in your life activates a domain, activates a power in you to become a Christian that is productive. You are, not, you are not supposed to be a loser. You are supposed to be a producer and a, su a successful agent of the Lord. Now remember, we need to take dominion of our business, of our homes, our family, our jobs, our finances, ourselves. Because the first thing is that you must take control of yourself. If you cannot domain yourself, then you can never be dominated the earth. It comes first from taking dominion over yourself. When you take dominion over yourself, you can dominate your environment. That is a principle. And he says in Genesis 28, look at Genesis 28. He, when he goes further, and God said in Genesis 28 verses 1, uh, he says, and God blessed them. He God called, Genesis, sorry, 128. Genesis 128. It is 128. And God blessed them and said, so the first thing that God did when man fell and thinks, uh, he said, I will bless them. Because you cannot be a carrier of blessing and be able to give the blessing when you don't have. So the first thing that God deposited in man, whether you are born again or not, is a blessing. He said, and God blessed them and said, be fruitful and increase. So three things. Number one, he blessed them. And number two, he said, be fruitful. That means everyone has capacity to produce. No one can live without production. And I want to encourage every, every man, every Christian, wherever you are, don't wait for miracles. You know, there are people that are waiting for manna. The seasons of manna are gone. These are times that we must do something. He says, I shall bless the work of your hands. I shall bless the work of your hand. That means you must be productive. Why? God is a worker. And God loves working. Therefore, put yourself to doing something. Put your mind to doing something. Put your heart to doing something. So that you can produce. Because when you produce, you are blessed. So you said be production. Productivity is, is, is a measure. Whether you are going forward or not. So he said, God bless them. And he said, be, 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 be fruitful. Fruitful, mean, meaning production. We must be production. We must be producers and not consumers. We must produce. And number three, he says, increase, increase. So increment is part of the package that man carries. Every one of us is blessed, whether you are born again or not. And number two, you are supposed to increase. So you must increase numerically, increase in thinking, increase in knowledge, increase in wisdom, increase all sides. You must show increase, financial increase, every time you must increase. And number three, he said, and number two, he said, production and increase. Therefore, increment is a measure to our life. And number, th and number four, he says, subdue. According to the scripture, subdue the earth. Subdue. What, mean, what, the, what does subdue mean? Subdue means control. Take over. Take over your business. Be a master. Be a guru in what you do. Be, a, be, a, be an expert in what you do. Whatever little that you do, be an expert. I pray, Kenyans, I pray to every Kenyan watching me that you become an expert in what you do. Stop conning people. Stop becoming a broker. God is not... A broker is not in a brokerage business. It's looking for productivity. I know you can break and get there. And sometimes we cheat, we lie, we corrupt to get the, you know, to get the media. We, 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 we oppress. I pray, be a producer. Be a producer. Go back to produce. Because very, very, very soon, brokerage will be over. We may, we may not all of us be brokers. Because many people depend on you know, brokerage to get money that you have not planted, you have not sweated for. But you, know, you have just come in to get, I pray. We go back to productivity that everyone shall produce and we shall sell to the people that, uh, that, that we, are, uh, uh, we, we, we are sending to. I don't, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that those who are doing brokerage is, is a bad business, it's, a, it's, it's, it's bad. No, you are doing a good business, but not of all of us. Some of us... You can imagine in Nairobi, uh, not once I saw a lady buy, uh, was sold a, a, a sheet, you know, a sheet. And, 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 when, and when, when, she, when she came home, he was sold five feet. <laughs> it's, only, it's only less than a meter. 
but it was wrapped, it was exchanged, you know, those middle, not middle people. I also saw a man who bought a deep for his four or four, five or four, and he was sold a stone, a block of four, uh, nine by nine, and he was wrapped very well in a box, all to go to Nakuru, and found out it was, you know, let me tell you, brokerage. Some of them have taken it so far, and I pray those who are doing it, do it with, with honesty and integrity in the name of the Lord. So again, I pray, let us be producers, because God is in the business of telling us, take control of what you do. I pray, let our farmers produce and manufacture. Let our, our, our businessmen produce and manufacture. Let us be manufacturers in the name of the Lord Jesus. So number one, he blessed them. Number two, he said produce. Number three, increase. Number four, he said subdue, take control. And number five, he said take dominion. So we've got to take dominion of what we do. And I want to dwell in number five, in the dominion, and, and, and be able to bring in the perspective of dominion, taking domain in our life. In Luke in 10, 19, it says, again, because you may, you, some of us say, oh, oh, that's what the Old Testament, but now in the New Testament, Jesus says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Now, this is, this is where... God says, even now, God still gives us domain. He gives us domain over principalities. Therefore, no Christian should run away from Satan. No Christian should run away from a witch doctor. No Christian should run away from, 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 from where demons and, and, and devil worshippers are living. We have power in the domain. We have power. When you begin to pray, principalities disappear. Principalities scatter. I pray now in the name of Jesus, wherever you are, every principality surrounding your house, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every principality surrounding your life, surrounding you outdoors in the name of Jesus die 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 you shall not run away take domain that your prayer has power it doesn't matter whether you know how to pray or not as long as you call the name of the Lord whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved I pray today that in that salvation may the enemies that are in your house may the enemies in your plot may the enemies in your land scatter by fire in the name of Jesus that your prayer shall scatter the kingdoms of Satan your prayer shall kill the principality your prayer shall swallow witchcraft when they bring witchcraft in their home instead of them the witchcraft affecting you they shall die them that send witchcraft die why we reverse the arrows reverse every arrow to the sender reverse every arrow i he said whatever is done against you uh, I, I, I feel in the book, in the, in the name of Jesus, in the Isaiah 54, verse 15, it says, anyone that fights you shall bow. I pray today, let every power. If anyone does attack you, it is not, it is not be my doing. Whoever attacks you shall surrender. And therefore I declare, may every enemy in your life surrender to your life. In the name of Jesus, those who are attacking you, surrender. Those who are fighting you, surrender. Those who are coming in like a force, surrender. In the name of Jesus, may you take dominion, I declare. Take domain, take control, take dominion over every situation. In Jesus' precious name. Now, it says in the book of Psalms, uh, uh, Psalms, 8, uh, Psalms 8 verse 6, Psalms 8 verse 6, it says, you have given him domain. Let's begin from verse 4. Begin from verse 4. I think yeah, this is a very interesting scripture. Look, listen to what God says to man. And the reason why I'm bringing this, I want every Christian to understand. Your season of crying is over. Your season of lament, lamenting is over. Take domain. Take your prayer seriously. Take your Bible word seriously. And arise and take over Kenya. In the name of Jesus. He says, and what is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you care for him. Now, one thing, God is concerned so much on man that he doesn't want to see man struggling. God doesn't want to see you struggling, crying, helplessly. No, you are not helpless. You have the word of God. You have a tongue and a mouth. 
your body may be sick but when your mouth can talk you can control situation you can control powers you can control ministry ministration of satan you can silence the tongues when your mouth is able to talk i'm telling you if the devil cannot shut your mouth please rise and begin to declare to the atmosphere declare like a crazy mad man or bad woman and let me tell you you shall see the manifestation of god why he said call us unto to me and i shall hear you in the days of trouble you need to call the name of the lord today and your life shall be transformed i pray if you call the name of the lord your life will never be the same again in the name of the lord now keep the scripture he says what is man that your mind you follow the son of man that you care for verses five you made him a little lower than angels or heavenly beings and crown him with glory and honor uh -huh. you made him a ruler over the works of your hands and you put everything under his feet ah number five go back to number five go back to number five get this thing what god is saying uh, you know it it, it 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 breaks my it says you have made man a little lower than angels and 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 crown him with glory and honor that means every one of us is crowned with glory and honor we are crowned with glory and honor and the only thing that can take the glory out of your life is sin get out of sin and watch god take you to glory came out of sin and watch god take you to the next level you cannot die in the hoods and crying out let god arise and let his enemies be scattered let god arise in your life and let your enemies be scattered i pray may you be like david even in the hood god saw david fighting the bears fighting the lions fighting the enemies standing to prayer god is going to use you in this nation like never before what they thought was useless god can make it to be useful what they thought they can't use god can use you for the mighty i pray may god arise may god arise may god arise in your situation and elevate you accelerate you and put you to the top in the name of jesus listen to what number six says let's listen to what number six verse six he says you 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 made him a ruler of the works of your hands you put everything under his feet that means everything that god created is under your feet everything that god has given in this earth is in your hands you can take it take everything he said take domain take dominion over the earth take dominion over the earth let me tell you if you are defeated it's not god's doing if you are defeated it's your doing because god has put every one of us and remember god is not looking for the learned now god is not in the in the business of of making those who are learned those who are not learned those who are weak and those who are strong he said let the weak say i'm strong let the sick say i am healed let the poor say i am i'm financially blessed therefore you cannot afford, afford to go back to the scripture and 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 divert you and feel pity for yourself get out of your pity and declare my god is able paul said i can do all things through him that strengthen me i pray today god can use you for mighty things god can use you for your county god can be an, you can become an answer to the problems of your county of your town of your city god is gonna use you mightily in the name of jesus arise and take domain tell your neighbor for me neighbor your time your time to arise my husband arise my wife arise my brother and sister arise my children arise it's our time to take domain and take dominion for god and for our family we even if we came poor you know the bible tells us it is not where you come from that matters is where you are going you may have come from a corrupt family you shall be a success if you come from a poor family you shall be a history for if you come from a defeated family you shall write history let me tell you the the the, the, the earth is open for you the sky is open for you take dominion take dominion arise and take dominion i know many people have been hooked on and destroyed by little leisure what we call in ourselves enjoyment for a moment but if you can keep the enjoyment for a moment out of your presence and declare i must arise and ride on the waves i rise on the wind i fly in the winds the lord shall captivate your presence and bring you to the place of honor in the name of jesus i pray we must take domain in our life 
It is not too late. We can still do it. It's not. Even if you have been a sinner, you, God can change you from sin to success. You can write a history. Even if you have scars, you can, the stars, the scars can stand to stars. You become a star. You can, you can have a bad history. You say, my history is so bad. God may not. Let me tell you. God is there in the business of forgiving people and bringing them to the light. God does not dwell in your sin. He dwells in your success. God does not dwell in your mistakes. He looks at your blessing. He says, I bless you. Arise and take dominion in the name of Jesus. Everything that God has given us under the earth, he says, I've given you domain. Therefore, arise, my brother, and take dominion. Finally, in the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 14, he says, for the sin will have, will have, will have no dominion over you. He says, for sin shall not, be, uh, shall not be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. Mine says, sin have no domain over your life. And therefore, there is nothing that you cannot leave. Whatever is binding you, address it by the word of the Lord and prayer, and it shall be taken off. Whatever is attacking you, address it in the name of Jesus. Why? There is only one name that is above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every sickness shall bow. Let me tell you, it's just you have, you have, you have agreed to the condition. You see, when you agree to the condition, the, the enemy domesticates you. If you can come out of your domestication, then you will understand your time. I remember, let me give you this story as I'm closing. I remember, I remember uh, one farmer took the eggs of an eagle and mixed it with, a, with his chicken. And, and, you know, of course, uh, the, 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 mother, the mother chick, the, the mother hen, I raised these little uh, chicks together, and all of them were there. And one day, uh, 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 the, 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 the mother was just trying to make sounds to tell the, ch the, the chicks that ran away because the eagle is come. So when they saw the eagle fly, and it was coming towards the chicks, they all ran away. But the little eaglets look, looked at the eagle and said, and they, you know, they, they understood, they saw, I, they tried to fly. Because they saw the eagle fly. And one day, they, when they went out, they also tried to fly, and they found that they are able to fly. So they flied out on top of the fence, and in a little short time, they leaped out of the, of the, <laughs> of the chick house, and they realized, we are not chicken, we are eagles. Ah, we've been domesticated by the chicken, but we can get out of the cage. I pray, may you get out of that cage today in the name of Jesus. You can fly out. You can become greater. You become somebody in this life in the name of Jesus. So arise, sin cannot domesticate you. Life cannot domesticate you. No power can domesticate you. You need to exercise and begin to fly the little eaglets. And they went out of the chicken cage. Come out of the chicken cage. In the name of Jesus, come out of the chicken cage. You can fly. I pray that you can fly. In the name of Jesus, I want you to know, I've not finished my message. I was doing my introduction because I've not given you the definition of domain or dominion. But tomorrow, I'll be here and I'll be speaking on domaining, taking dominion because we have to take dominion after this. We have to take domain of our economy, of our business, of our families, of our lives, of our everything that concerns us because God has given us everything that we need. But he says, take dominion. Remember, in, in Genesis 1, 28, five things that he said. Number one, he blessed them. Number two, he said, be fruitful. That is production. Increase. You cannot, you cannot be a consumer and not be a producer. Or depending on people, the spirit of dependency, I'll be addressing that. You need to be a producer in, every, in everything in your life that when you begin to produce, God begins to give you muscles of production. Now he says produce. Number three, increase. Increase in all level. You must increase financially. Increase in knowledge. Increase in wisdom. That is why every day you are learning. Every day you are learning something. When you read a book, you learn. When you, you watch a film, you learn. When you come to church, you learn. God is training you every day. You learn in your dreams. You learn in your mistakes. He says increase. That brings increase in our learning. But he says after you have learned, he says subdue. That is take control over everything that you do. Be a master of science. Be a master. A master of, of production. Be a master of business. Be a master. And finally, number five, he says take dominion. Take domain. That means take authority. He didn't say take authority of a man. You cannot be an authority of man. It's only God is an authority of a man. But when you but for the seas, for the fishes, for the earth, for the crops, for the production, take dominion. 
take dominion. So we'll be, I'll be there tomorrow. And I pray that you shall come out of your bondage. Remember the eaglets that were domesticated by the farmer and the chicken. You can fly out of that cage today in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that every man, every woman watching us, that shall not be the same again. But out of this proclamation, you are alive wherever, wherever you have been domesticated. Wherever you have been bound, you shall come out. You shall become a great woman, a great man. For the life that God has given you, he says, I've given you everything. All the productivity, all the domain of earth, all the things of the earth are in your hand. And he said, and I put every power under your feet. That's why from the book of Luke 10, 19, he says, I've given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. Therefore, Lord, we trample on serpent. We trample on all scorpion. We trample on all defeat and declare victory of our life. In the name of Jesus. Father, may this become our portion that as a ch children of God, we shall not cry, but we shall take dominion. I bless you and I honor you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We see you tomorrow when we again we will be talking about dominion. And I want you to know this is your season of restoration. So you need to take domain over every powers operating against your life. Over every principality and where you have failed, you shall not fail again because this is a season that God has given you. Shalom. See you again in Jesus' name.